Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing turn-based strategy game Doomstar. It's based on uh, what is my favorite board game, Stratego, uh, where you move units around and they're unknown what their power is until they attack or get attacked. Uh, game features a campaign mode, uh, which is rather short and also has some pretty unfair scenarios, which is why I haven't unlocked all the missions. Uh, this one right here gives the enemy a ton of uh, powerful ships and you not powerful ships, and it's I just haven't been able to beat it. Uh, it's a lot of luck as to being able to figure out where the enemy command ship is so you can beat it, so I personally do not care for the campaign very much. Uh, thankfully, beyond that, uh, it has skirmishes against the AI, which are a lot more fair and balanced, and also online asynchronous multiplayer where you can join games, uh, complete turns at your leisure, which is a very nice feature. So I'll do a skirmish against the AI. Again, I haven't unlocked the little space duck yet, which is unfortunate. Uh, so I'll do a standard game here. Can I explain the rules if you're unfamiliar with Stratego? Uh, basically, what you have to do is destroy the enemy command ship. The way you do that is by moving ships around and trying to discover uh, what ships the enemy has uh, based on attacking them. Um, the ships have different properties. You have minefields, which are static, but they can destroy any ship except for uh, the light fighters, which are number two, and the carriers, which are number four. You also have the Dreadnought, and basically higher numbers destroy things that are lower number. Uh, the Negasphere here can destroy any unit if it's the attacker, uh, but anything can destroy it if it's the attacky. Uh, it's like the spy. Uh, so, let me figure out where I want to go on this. Let me put my command ship here, and put minefields over there, put my sphere here. I'm going to scout uh, here and here, 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 and let's do there. There's my heavy fighters, which I'll kind of put in the back. Uh, clear out some minefields, get my fives. And then my big boys over there. That looks fun. You can also randomize your selection to make it a little bit more interesting. All right, where we go? So I'm gonna scout for minefields first. We'll see how it goes. There's minefield, and there's. The All right. Well, that was fun. I win. Good job. <laughs> well, some of it is luck. I immediately found their command ship, and since I used light fighters, I went right through the minefield and engaged the thing behind it. That's the danger of kind of putting them, you know, right behind the minefield, because if you use your light fighters, you can take it out. Uh, so we'll play again. Uh, well, that was uh, that was easy. So let's do. Where do I think that he's gonna go? I'm actually gonna put him. This. All right, let me scout. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll use the second line. These will take out that stuff. That there, and I'll put that. All right. Let's try it again. Hopefully, it will not. Okay, so those will annihilate each other. Uh, fighters can move multiple spots, and they, they are going to die. Okay, so this is turning out a little bit worse, but I know it... I know that's a four now. And that's... maybe it might be a fighter, but it's probably not. So I'm going to move him up. That's definitely a fighter. And he took those out. Jeez. Okay. But I can take him out. Uh, and I'm not too concerned about that. I actually might move him down. I'm not too concerned about that. Three, there's two, two. Now, that's another thing you can do with fighters is you can combine them to attack the same target. Uh, so I will 
take him out with my five. So, again, it's a lot like Stratego if you're familiar with that. And if you're not, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's okay. Um, but it does have a couple more wrinkles that it adds to it, and they're going to get taken out by the mines. And obviously, it's better when you're playing a human opponent. All right, let's do this. No, that's a two. All right. Uh, I can move another... Yeah, let's just do that. The heck with it. Let's get some scouting done. Yep, took out that. And right, we'll see if he has a heavy ship on the back row there. Alright, well. Let's just do this. Oh, no, that's a six. Okay. Well, now I know where one of his heavies is. Uh, let me do... What do I want to do? Actually, let me move him over one. I know that I can beat him. Because that's either a two or a three. Oh, he's going to take me out with both of those, isn't he? Yep. Jerk. Well, do I want to reveal my six? I don't think it really matters. Take him out anyway. And the AI probably knows <laughs> what I have anyway. If it's not playing fair. This may be a six. Well, you're dead. But now he knows where both my sixes are. So I'm tempted to just scout and see. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Oh, we're narrowing it down, aren't we? Uh, I'm thinking it's... well, it's either here or here. I can move. Actually, I probably shouldn't move twice. Yeah, because he's going to do that and take me out. Now, I think. No, I can't move there. Yep, can't enter a black hole. So, um, if he moves down, I'll take him out with my. with that. <sighs> Alright. Well. I haven't seen any of his mines fields, though. No, nope, I should have done two again. I keep forgetting about that. And it's just going to take both out. Well, I do have my carrier that can go into minefields, so... I actually would like to kind of try to take that out. If I can. Yeah, he's going to take me out, though. Hmm. Yep. So. <laughs> let's do... Let's do this. We'll see if that's your command ship. 
I'm gonna say it is. It is. I knew it was either that one or that one. Here we go, victory is mine. And then, there you go, that's the game. Um, so like I said, uh, the campaign's pretty limited, doesn't have very many scenarios, and the ones that it does have are pretty annoying, uh, to be honest about it, because it just gives the AI a ton of powerful ships that are extremely difficult to counter and basically just involves luck. But the game does have uh, Skirmish against a pretty capable AI. It's not obviously as good as human, uh, but it does have asynchronous online multiplayer, uh, which is nice. You know, it follows the general structure of Stratego, where you don't know what the enemy units are until you attack them or they attack you. So there's a lot of secrecy there about which units to reveal and which ones to keep the secret. Uh, you know, where to place your initial units to protect your command ship. Uh, how to use the special abilities of the fighters and the carriers. Uh, whether to protect your powerful units or use them to scout, you know. If you encounter a minefield with your fives or sixes, that they can take them out and stuff. Usage of black holes where you can get multiple movements in the same turn. You know, moving fighters all the way across the map or using two teams of fighters in the same turn to take out, you know, kind of a medium... Uh, unit there. So, a lot of interesting uh, things there, and the game adds a couple more wrinkles to the Stratego formula, so uh, if you're like me and you like Stratego, uh, you know, you'll find you know some enjoyment here, especially if you get involved in the uh, asynchronous online multiplayer uh, part of the game, so that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.